Hello, my name is Glenn Hopwood. Today I'm going to show you our DDS conversion module. The conversion process reads a green screen DDS source member and converts it into our rich display file DDS source. Rich display files are native IBMI display file objects that fully support a robust browser interface. They can be maintained through our visual design tool called Visual Designer. With this process, you will completely eliminate all ties to the old 5250 character based protocol. Your original RPG programs are simply recompiled over the rich user interface definition stored in the new rich display files after adding an IBM keyword to the file specification for the display file. In this video, I will show you an existing green screen application. I will then convert the application and perform the required steps to run it in our Genie web environment. Please note that in most cases, Genie is not required to run the converted application. I am just using it as a simple way to demonstrate the converted program. Now I'll show you a simple, this is a simple customer maintenance program. It's used to maintain a customer master table. Notice it has a foldable subfile. And options are located above the subfile and function keys below. I'll now switch to our visual designer to show you how to convert. I assume you know how to get to it and its basic usage. If you need more details on the designer, we have a few other videos that go into that subject. To use the DDS conversion module, we would just press the convert button in the ribbon and point the tool at the source member we want to convert. As you can see, there are a few other options available in this panel. The theme you choose will control how things get converted, and we also have the capability of supporting green screen and rich display formats in the same source member using the retain green screens option. We will cover these options in more detail in the later video. So here I'll just enter the name of the green screen display file and I'll press convert. Once it's finished, you will now have a rich display file that has the same functionality as the original screen. Notice that the pop-up shows a list of informational and or error messages related to the conversion. While we convert most DDS keywords, there are some that we don't convert since they don't make sense in a browser environment. For example, the print keyword, we only convert if it's configured a certain way. Now if we look at the, the visual designer, you'll see that it's, our options are still at the top, but in this case it converted them also to drop downs, which I'll show you at runtime. It saw the function keys at the bottom of the screen, put them in the left panel, and made them clickable. All of this behavior was configured in the theme that I used. I will now save and compile this file and show you the minimum changes required in the RPG code. So I'll save this now into my library that I'm using for this video. And I will now compile it. Note when you compile out of the visual designer, it just runs the regular create display, display file command. and it'll pop up and say create it successfully. I'll now flip over to RDI and show you the minimal changes required in your RPG program. So this is the RPG program that is used to run that display file. So what I need to do is I need to add the handler keyword and then use enter the profound UI service program and the sub procedure within that service program that we want to call. I will now save this and then if I go back to my green screen, I can compile from RDI, or I can go back to my green screen and compile from here. I have my library list already set up to compile, so I'll just compile it from here. So now this program is compiled. Note that your RPG program must be ILE. It can't run in the, the OPM program model because this is a service program. So now I'll show you this program running in Genie with our new rich display file. So if I flip over, I already have a Genie session configured with the proper library list, and I'll call my program. So notice, like I said, it created these drop-downs. It loaded the drop-downs with the options it found. All these drop-downs will now key the number and press enter. All the function keys work both as clickable links, or if I go here and hit the function key on my keyboard, it still functions. 
Uh, notice this was a foldable subfile, so now instead of F11, you now have this expand all, although F11 still works. But in our product, we also have what we call a single row zoom, so now you can unfold a single row. So that is how DDS conversion works. In future videos, we'll go into more detail about the theme and retain green screen options. Thank you very much for watching.